In this video, I'm going to show you how to create bands or simply what we call the big numbers. And we use the big numbers to present or rather to visualize the most important information in our dashboards. This could be uh, the KPIs and such. And therefore, in this case, I want to show you the various ways or rather the various approaches that you can take uh, to create uh, these bands. And to do that, uh, in this case, I want to use uh, the dimension subcategory. And I'm not going to use all the members of this particular dimension. I'm going to select a few of them. In this case, I want to work with tables, uh, fonts, and also paper and probably something else like envelopes. And I think that is all. Basically, what I'm trying, and also chairs, basically what I'm doing, I'm holding the control key on the keyboard and selecting the various uh, dimension members I need to work with. And I'm just going to select keep only because this is what I'm going to use to show you how to create these bands. And for this case, let's say we want to show something like the discount extended to these particular subcategories. So to do that, let me add discount to the text. And one way I can uh, create these bands is simply by adding the, uh, the numbers to the text and increasing the size of them. So for example, as you can see, I've added discount to text. I can also drag again this same subcategory to the text. And from here, uh, I'm going to increase the size of, let's say, uh, the number itself that is discount to, let's say, something like 20, make it bold and click OK. And now let me also try to add these headers. And basically what we've done, uh, we've created an example of uh, big numbers that we can use to uh, present the most important information uh, in our dashboards and we can also try to play around with them for example changing the position of them for example from here i can be able to center them uh, to be exactly at the center you can also add them to the side and such like things so basically that's one way you can create the bands the other way to create the same bands let me duplicate this view because i need to use uh, the same dimensions members and for this case, what I'm going to do, we can also present our bands by simply adding some icons around these figures or numbers that we want to present. So for this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this one to shapes. Let me expand my view, basically by using the control arrows on my keyboard. And now what I'm going to do, you can see by default, I'm getting a shape of a circle and i can be able to place these particular uh, numbers in into the minto of that particular shape by simply coming here and i'm going to put the alignment to be minto center and they're going to uh, to fit within let me try to increase the size of the circle itself and basically this is one way you can create uh, your bands by simply adding the shapes and icons around uh, your numbers and you can also be able to pull out or rather to add different types of uh, shapes by simply going to a site called uh, flat icons. Uh, as you can see here, basically what I've done, I've come to this site and I've tried to search for the various icons that I can use uh, to be part of my big numbers. And basically, for example, let's say an icon like this one, you simply download it. And once you download, you're going to go to your tablet repository. So come to documents, my tablet repository. And from here, you go to the folder shapes and you can create a new folder and save those particular shapes there so that you can be able to access them uh, within the tableau. So for my case, what I've done, uh, I've created this folder called new icons, whereby I pasted the different icons and shapes which I've downloaded from this site called flat icons and we're going to see how we can also be able to pull these particular icons within our dashboards so let me go back to tableau and from here I can change this shape of a circle to other shapes which I've downloaded by simply coming to shapes then more shapes and from here I'm simply going to go to the folder I've created new icons 
If your folder is not visible, simply click reload shapes and it's going to be available and come to the folder, uh, new icons. And from here, I can be able to take the different uh, icons or shapes that I need to use. For example, I can pick this circle and click OK. And automatically you'll see uh, we've added uh, this particular icon around our bands or other big numbers, which we can be able to use to present uh, this particular information. Let me also try to color these different subcategories differently by adding subcategory to color. And now you can see uh, we've tried to color them differently. I can use a different shape. For example, I can use this square, which is broken, which is also another way uh, to present my bands. I can also take a different shapes, uh, which I've downloaded like this one, which with, with rounded edges at the end, which basically, uh, those are the different ways that you can use to, to present your bands. The other way I can present my band is simply by showing the icons of the different uh, subcategories I need to present. For example, you can see here we have chairs, envelopes, paper, phones, and tables. So instead of using these um, common icons, I can use icons which represent the subcategory I need to represent. And to do that, let me duplicate this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go again to the shapes because I've already downloaded my shapes and go to more shapes. And again here, I'm going to select the particular icon and match it to uh, the subcategory I need to do that. But before that, let me first of all drag um, subcategory to shape so that I can be able to add from here by simply coming here, edit shapes, and from here I'm going to go to new icons and I'm going to select uh, the individual icons and match them to the item. So for example, chairs, I'm going to select this icon of chair Envelopes, I'm going to select the icon of envelope. Paper, the icon of paper. Forms, the icon of forms. And table, the icon of tables, and click OK. And now you can see now, we've also tried to use different uh, icons to present the same information. Let me also try to turn down the color so that it's not destructive. And now you can see uh, we've also created some other bands, which can also be used to communicate uh, such important information to our users. The other way you can also uh, present the same information is also by changing the alignment or rather the position of these icons and the wordings. And to do that, let me uh, duplicate this to show you in a different uh, worksheet. Let me also try to increase the, uh, rather to turn up the color. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to minimize the size of these icons as much as I can. And now I can play around with the numbers by placing them either on the left side, for example, coming to labels, and I can put them to this end, uh, mean to, but to this end, yeah, whereby you can see they're appearing on the left side. I can also put them at the top of the icon itself by simply coming here and put them at the top um, side of this uh, particular icon. Let me increase the size of it a little bit. So you can have them at the top of the icons. You can also have them at the bottom as well. So I'm going to choose them bottom so that they can appear at the bottom as well as you can also have them on the left side of this particular icon. So basically, those are the different approaches that you can take to uh, present or rather to visualize uh, these big numbers that we use to communicate the most important information in our dashboards. Thanks, everyone.